Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Happy Friday. I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7 in our top story sponsored by Carnegie Heights. It's only been a day since Resorts World Las Vegas opened its doors, but the chairman of Genting Group says he already has a game plan to expand the resort. Review Journal's Renee Summerauer has the details. Good evening, Renee. Good evening, Jen. KT Lim, who said he almost didn't make it to Las Vegas for the grand opening because of protocols instituted by the Malaysian government for COVID-19, surprised everyone by saying he's ready to begin the next phase of development for the resort. Resorts World didn't use the entire 88 acres it acquired from Boyd Gaming and people on the pool deck looking south down on the strip could see the vacant lot. What, what they're thinking about likely is more rooms and this is going to have to be something that they're going to need to monitor what's going on with their existing inventory to determine whether or not it makes sense to add more rooms. Could be something else though, could be another amenity. Experts expect the north end of the Strip to see a lot more traffic due to all Resorts World has to offer. No word yet on when the expansion will begin as finishing touches are still being made on the existing property. Jen. Thanks, Renee. And we've already showed you the countless features of Resorts World, but here are some pictures we haven't featured yet on 7 at 7. The Resorts World famous food spread and the red tail spread. Plus a look at the Fred Siegel store inside the retail section. As for what hasn't opened yet, but will later this year, the new 4,700-seat theater set to be one of the largest and most tech-savvy on the Strip. In other news, the teenage girl accused of murdering her father along with her boyfriend pleads not guilty in court today. 16-year-old Sierra Halseth and 18-year-old Aaron Guerrero are accused of fatally stabbing Daniel Halseth in early April before fleeing to Salt Lake City where they were arrested. According to autopsy reports, the girl's father was stabbed 70 times, then burned. Another top story tonight, some rare rain in the valley. And that's in your weather, sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour is here for you. On Thursday, we saw the first measurable June precipitation since 2016. Now, some parts of the valley got more rain, but the National Weather Service recorded only 0.01 inch at McCarran International Airport. Now, looking at tonight's forecast, we're dropping down to the low 80s. We'll have just a slight breeze coming through with some higher humidity after yesterday's rain. Then we're heating up for this weekend. We've got sunny skies until the middle of next week and possibly more rain and highs sticking to the hundreds. Now to your lifestyle news, sponsored by Get Healthy Clark County. Who says you can only order burgers and fries in a drive-thru? Fly Pie is finally finished in Henderson. This new drive-thru pizza concept, complete with entertainment, comes from the creator of CSI, Anthony Zyker and Scott Godino Jr. So this will all be airplane themed. You'll go pull up, you'll, you'll place your order. Once it's placed, I'll ask you to please fly forward. We are in flight movie. You'll drive in here. And you'll have a 4D experience. Fly Pie opens this Saturday. Here's the latest in sports. I'm out in Henderson at the Dollar Loan Center where the first event to ever take place inside this brand new facility was announced at the Big West Basketball Championship taking place March 8th through 12th in 2022. Both our men's and women's basketball coaches were unanimous in their support of moving our basketball championships to the Las Vegas Valley. We showcased and told them about what Dollar Loan Center had to offer, uh, what the relationship would be with the Knights, uh, both the Golden Knights and the Silver Knights. Uh, they just love the opportunity and love the opportunity particularly to be the first event here in Dollar Loan Center in Henderson. Just as the way the calendar laid out in terms of when we thought we could actually get the building ready uh, to open, it turns out that the conference tournament fit right in that timeline. And so March 8th of 2022, uh, we'll host the entire, uh, both men's and women's conference basketball championships. Over a five day period, it'll actually be uh, 10 different events that'll take place here at the Dollar Loan Center. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Canadians were underdogs in every game, but they still managed to eliminate the Golden Knights from the postseason. The Canadians earned a 3-2 overtime victory in Game 6 as consensus plus 120 home underdogs. Montreal was plus 400 at Circus Sports to win the series before it started and 13-1 to to win in six games. The Canadians now await the winner of today's Game 7 between Tampa Bay and New York. 
Now to your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. Parkway Tavern plans to open two new locations this upcoming summer. Parkway Volunteer in Henderson and Parkway Decatur near Spring Valley in late July and early August. This will make the Las Vegas Neighborhood Sports Bar Group's fifth and sixth locations across the valley. Plus, Cirque du Soleil's show called Love is heading back to the Mirage this August. Review Journal's John Katsimidis tells us the show's plans. Cirque du Soleil is coming back to the Las Vegas Strip, and that means the Beatles' love is due to return on August 26th at the Mirage. The show opened in June of 2006. That means the 15th anniversary is due to be celebrated. And in the past, they've done a big party, which has included a couple of former Beatles. We don't know if we're going to see Sir Paul and Sir Ringo back in Las Vegas, but we will see the show in August. Now to your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. Two gaming licensees are facing a total of $70,000 in fines for violating regulations. The reason? Because celebrity guests did not comply with COVID guidelines while at MGNV LLC doing business as Mohegan Sun Casino Las Vegas when COVID restrictions were still in place. The Mohegan Tribe is one of three partners operating Virgin Hotels Las Vegas. As for LV Station Management Incorporated, which operates the Country Club Auto Spa, the Auto Spa is a car wash, convenience store, and gas station, and the company is facing punishment for not following certain protocols in regards to its five slot machines, which have since been removed. Now to your health news, sponsored by 4M Dental. Love your smile again. Positive COVID cases take the biggest one-day leap since March. The state data shows 804 new cases on Friday and three deaths. Nevada's total is now more than 331,000 cases and more than 5,600 deaths. Plus, if you're planning on traveling to Hawaii, the state plans to relax texting rules for vaccinated U.S. travelers in two weeks. However, you must upload your vaccination card to the state's website and bring a hard copy while traveling. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have Amazon Fire TV, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here on Monday for more 7 at 7. Until then, hope you have a great weekend. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal.